That did it? Yeah. It okay, did that it. time it did I it. didn't fuck it up this time. Awesome. Wow. Where did you get the keyboard? Uh, okay, so <laughs> this uh, the, fine the, jelly comb the keyboard. The jelly comb keyboard. Would you believe Why that would it, it even is... be called that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's fucking... <laughs> it's from... So for China, clearly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Check, what is the last untrademarked phrase in English? <laughs> <laughs> the jelly comb? <laughs> the, the, you know, the classic ideal. That just, everyone. I'm not gonna push yeah. any buttons. I just Would you believe that that is the cheapest wireless keyboard and mouse oh, on Amazon? That most is black. Absolutely, it is. <laughs> absolutely, it is. <laughs> the mouse is such a shitty click. I bet they make everything. Like I bet that <laughs> if you look up jellycomb.com, they make like a gun too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they yeah, jellycomb must. power tools. <laughs> <laughs> just like weird shit, like. Products that don't even exist anymore. It's just like a lobotomy pick. <laughs> <laughs> the jelly comb. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, That's oh, it's awesome. actually the highest rated lobotomy pick on Amazon. Yeah, so. <laughs> they, it's a combo pack with the oil lamp and <laughs> <laughs> just a noose. <laughs> <laughs> Old style leisure from Jellycomb, China. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Jellycomb is actually the name of a province. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that thing sucks. Well, I'm glad that it worked when you hit the thing. Yeah, you know, it's nice. I, I really think that I sick. didn't fuck this up too bad. No, not yet. Yeah, I Definitely know. Definitely not yet. It'll go off the rails. <laughs> Don't worry. This is a big change. We got a, we got video. I know, um, and it looks fucking good. I, I mean, most people are still going to listen to it on audio, but we are filming it. Um, that's exciting, yeah. you know? So, so it is you... funny that, again, just just out of frame... Yeah, just it's out of just frame. Like this, you've made your life look good for a very small portion of the room. There's just a, an overturned swivel chair on your yeah, bed. I had to throw, I had to heave my computer <laughs> chair onto my bed because, like a maniac, I have turned my bedroom into a podcast. I, studio. I know, ex I know exactly how you did that too. I can like see the ghost of you doing mm -hmm. it. Me heaving it, Ugh! like a little gnome. Yeah, that's absolutely. how I do athletic well, actions. Because, dude, you picking up that chair is like you wrestling with a mechanical man who is who is your size, like mm -hmm. your your perfect match. It's true. Most chairs are the same size as me or yeah. bigger, <laughs> so which is you, not true of all men. When you pick them up, it looks like a fight. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I I fucked up that chair. Yeah, dude. It looked like me and the chair were about to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> It I swept up. it off its feet and threw it onto it, the bed. It looks like you got what you wanted. It from was the our chair. yeah. It was our honeymoon. <laughs> 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 Me just suplexing a chair into rose petals. <laughs> <laughs> Be still. <laughs> yeah, that's what I always yell before sex. Yeah. Be still. Be still. You mm -hmm. don't like when they move around too much. No, because you, you know. Like, Show me your hands. <laughs> you you I want to feel <laughs> safe. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like if if she starts moving around, then I start thinking she's reaching for a gun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get wrecked. Yeah, dude, you just you're with a woman and she starts masturbating in your head. You're like, is this bitch about to pull a gun out of her pussy? <laughs> what is she, this bitch doing? <laughs> that would be funny. If, like, like my dick goes the wrong angle in the pussy, and I just hear a, a gun cock. Yeah. In there. <laughs> Yeah, you a gun falls out. She's like, "Oh, if I didn't think you were gonna get that deep in there," <laughs> and you're like, "Oh, I feel deceived on two levels now." <laughs> I have a very shallow cock. <laughs> yeah, Daniel was telling me about his cock size in the chat, and I was like, I, "That would upset me greatly." Oh, it's too, it really upset me. I'm sure. I mean, it's big, obviously. Well, right? yeah, it's big, but he thinks it's small. He thinks it's small. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we gotta have him back on. We gotta yeah, have an inquisition about his damn dick. Because <laughs> he, he was talking about, I guess he was talking about like Charlemagne. Uh, you know, Charlemagne the God. Yeah, yeah. I guess Charlemagne the God wrote some book or said some shit where he's like, yeah, I don't brag about my dick because it's uh, it's small. It's seven inches. And Daniel was like, that was when I realized that my dick was also small. So I was like, I should just kill myself. And I was like, all right. <laughs> yeah. Well, I should, hold on. I, I need to set a, a timer. So that, oh yeah, do that. So that we don't just record. Forever. I thought you pull. I thought you were straight up pulling out a picture of your dick. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. No, I would just show you my dick. No. Please and do, I won't. Please do not. No. What I'm saying is that I would never show you my dick. Yeah. I would never cross that line in our friendship. Nor should you. But if I was, it would not be a photograph. 
it would be live it would be because a... I respect you. No, <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> While I would never give you that experience, if it were to occur, you would get the very best version of that experience, which is seeing my dick live through two-way glass. <laughs> Is just your dick in two way glass? Like, like, you, like you just like put a box in front of your fucking. <laughs> well, okay. I am in a completely black room, uh-huh. and I'm also wearing a morph suit that's completely black. Okay, that absorbs all light. So, all right. Is this like a police lineup? Are there other? Yeah, dicks? it's like a like no. It's just my dick. Okay. Um. So you you walk into the room and you see just through the window. Only my dick, as if it's been cut out of like a photo. Oh, I see. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, yes. Almost like the way that when they do like a, a you know Avenue Q, there's people in black morph suits behind the puppets. It's exactly it's like exactly that. like that. Yeah. Also, my dick has eyes and it sings. <laughs> yeah, you put googly eyes on your dick, <laughs> and it, it sings, sings. Just it's singing a body tune. Just a a wretched body tune. <laughs> <laughs> Weirdly, my grandparents think it's good. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, that was actually not uh, yeah, interesting. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's a cheat code. You like, if you hand- make if you make it theater, you can really make old people put up with a lot. Yeah. You have the Hamilton of penises, mm-hmm. where people are like, well, I didn't think it was going to be so artistic. <laughs> yeah, like, you can bring, like, your parents to, like, um, like, like, what, am I thinking of, does Cirque du Soleil have nudity, or is that something else? Absolutely not. Absolutely not? <laughs> Absolutely it does not. <laughs> well, all right, there's something like that that does. Uh, are, are you thinking of uh, Spring Awakening? What are you thinking <laughs> I, don't I don't know. You think that there's, you think that there's a circus? <laughs> You think that there's a major like stadium circus act where there's just nudity? <laughs> you know, now that we're really <laughs> discussing it, it doesn't seem like there would be. Really doesn't seem like there would but be. But that definitely came from somewhere. <laughs> uh yeah, I don't know. I, tr- I truly don't know what to tell you. Hmm. Let me do you want to let me Google really quick nude circus? I don't think that we should Google nude circus. Okay. <laughs> oh no, 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 there is something. I don't know if this was a video. I think the video was on stage. You remember puppetry of the penis? I do remember this. Okay, was that a legit? Was that legitimately on stage somewhere? Or was that just a video to make I it look like that? I think so because when I, the only clip I've ever seen of it was on Pornhub. Right. But it looked professionally produced. Yeah. It, it looked like a DVD. That's what I'm saying. My da- I dude, I remember my dad showed me that when I was like 11, and he goes, "Son, you have they make their penises look like a big hamburger." <laughs> <laughs> Because like, ah. my, my relationship with my dad was like, he was either 90% of the time he was like mad at me for getting bad grades. So uh-huh. ju- I was just like, oh, my dad hates me. And then, like, the few times he would like extend him an olive branch, he was showing me puppetry of the penis. <laughs> and you're like, so that was your baseball? Hyper negative. Hyper, hyper, <laughs> hyper negative relationship. What a terrible thing to share. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, because puppetry of the penis, like, the weird thing about it is that it's not even that entertaining. <laughs> no, it's not. It's, I mean, on, it is objectively, you're like, well, they sure figured out how to do that, I yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I used to um, have a drinking buddy in Lancaster who, he had this cousin who just sucked, who yeah. would, like, occasionally show up, and one of his tricks was, uh, he was just like... You just squeeze and twist his ball sack, and he'd be like, "It's a rose." No, (laughs) (laughs) yeah, I have to see this. He was like, he was like, say to girls, like, "Would you like a rose?" (laughs) And then he would twist his balls for them. He would just like a like a pepper boy. He would no, he he would show them the photo. He would like, (laughs) okay, he would like mangle his dick and balls live. Yeah, because you can't. You have to like do them. <laughs> that joke relies on you pulling a fast one, and there's no way to quickly mangle mm-hmm. your balls. Yeah, yeah. Because definitely, it, that's like a two, three minute. That's not a quick change scene. You know. Yeah. <laughs> definitely, there's a little bit of prep in that one. <laughs> yeah, that you used to be able to just do that. Hmm. Did we talk about that last? Or no, it was at um, it was at Jack's party. <laughs> I was saying like, 2012. That's when you could get your dick out at parties, kinda. That was, a, that was no one agreed. That really. was the cutoff of of dicks as party tricks. That was yeah. That was about you know. And I sensed the tides changing, and I hung up my spurs. And you stopped. <laughs> <laughs> no more guns in the valley. No more guns in the valley. <laughs> 
<laughs> I used to have a bit about that um, back back of one of the scores of violent alcoholic. Mm-hmm. When I say violent, I just mean dramatic. Right. There was no violence. Yeah, yeah, you weren't hitting people. <laughs> and what could you do? What could I do? If you yeah. ever tried to fight me, I would just do the thing from cartoons where mm-hmm. I put my hand on your head. Yeah. And you yeah. swing. Mm-hmm. You know, we've all seen the cartoons. Yeah, yeah, I've seen the cartoons. <laughs> but uh, I, I had this bit about like I was uh, I was at a party and this guy came up to me and he was like a guy I had never met, and he's like, "You're the guy who gets his dick out at parties." Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> like word had gotten around town, and I was like. Um, uh, I, I, I used to be, yes. <laughs> like, like we were in a saloon. <laughs> and he's like, ah, oh, come on, do it. I'm like, nah, man, I really got to stop doing it. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's like in a movie, you know, imagine like a monster movie or something where like the kids go to find the vampire hunter and he's been retired for like mm-hmm. 10 years. That's exactly what it was. <laughs> and they're like, come on, we need you. And this man, he was also a small man. So this was a comical, um... A uh, bout of of blows, but he, uh, oh God. <laughs> so he he lunges at my dick to, to try to get it out because he he wants to see my dick so bad. I guess it's been built up as this great. Who bit. is this again? Two thousand twelve. I think his name was Andy something. I don't remember. He lunged at your dick. Yeah, I only met him twice. Once this time, and I guess he was blacked out because then the other time I met him, he didn't remember this. Okay. Um. But he lunged at my dick, and I just started punching him on the top of the head. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. So he's, like, grabbing at my no, belt. That's, that's fair just, response. I'm just wriggling, like, just basically speed-bagging his skull. <laughs> and then he eventually, he, uh, he stops and he leaves. And I go up to, to Ethan. My, you remember Ethan from Lancaster? I'm like, yeah. hey, man, your friend, he tried to get out my dick, and... Uh, I, I started hitting him. I wasn't hitting him that hard because I can't. But, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, he, eventually he, he he got flustered and he left. And uh, Ethan, uh, he went to his door and he looked out and I guess saw him like uh, disappearing over the horizon. He's like, ah, he's calling cops, faggots. Don't worry. <laughs> he just closed the door. I guess he like he ran out immediately, encountered cops, and just like created a Jesus problem. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. That was an exact quote. <laughs> did you think that he was trying to like? <laughs> what did you? What, I mean, what, that okay. It's also it's funny to try to get my dick out and then and then immediately, you and immediately then the, encounter cops. You're like, no, you're gay. Yeah, it's the cops who are gay. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's not me. A man fighting for dick. So I'm saying he was just like he was just furiously overcompensating immediately. Mm. <laughs> what a cool guy. <laughs> yeah. God damn, dude. The people that you meet in small towns. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll I'll wind up back there again. Don't worry. Right, just can we, you just set this all up? We <laughs> no, just bought, no, not look, yet. No, you made this. No, I know. No, not yet. Three no, weeks. Not, three I'm weeks. Not... <laughs> <laughs> I no, I get it. But I understand how long manic saying, cycles last. Are you saying three weeks until I I I give up and move back? Home? I'm saying three weeks until this downswing ends <laughs> or up. De- what do you call it? A manic high. I'm oh no, I'm leveled back. The down. Oh okay. I love that you and I have just. Diagnosed me with bipolar. <laughs> you definitely do. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm not allowed Brandon, to have healthcare anymore. You did this anymore. in like three hours, and you texted me. You texted me the shot of this room like this, and you said, hey, "I'm sorry." That was the first <laughs> yeah. thing you said. I apologize. You before. said, "I'm sorry. I did this while I was manic." Yeah, it's true. But uh, you know, it, I think it turned out all right. No, it was know? great. No, we need to ho- learn how to harness your energy. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, we look. It's time to monetize next time, and I will throw every ounce of mental illness I have into that goal. Next time you have a manic episode, I'm just going to attach like a backhoe to you and start, you know, <laughs> irrigating the soil. Dude, I would fucking love to homestead. <laughs> yes. That would be my shit, dude. You should download Farm Simulator 2019. <laughs> no, dude, I fucking should. You looked so excited. I was going to download Hunting Simulator. Hunting Simulator, I, I have a tough time with that one. <laughs> I don't like yeah. killing the animals. I don't even yeah, ki- but actually, that's not true. Because when I played Far Cry Four, I killed every animal. You gotta I kinda, kill every I, animal. Yeah, because you can get like special. If you, if for some reason, if you kill like a hundred cheetahs, you get a special gun. <laughs> like the, you can make a <laughs> Do gun. You pull it like out of the the cheetah's gut, like video drone. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it just appears somewhere. <laughs> That's word, what I want. Word as gets a, back. Yeah, word. Yeah. Oh, that word guy gets destroyed. The, that guy destroyed cheetahs as a species. <laughs> it's like, well, I'll give him the purple gun. <laughs> <laughs> There's just a man like out in his garden, like raking a Zen garden in the sand, <laughs> and he just stops and he's like, "That's the last of them." That's uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
universe is out of balance. <laughs> <laughs> Here you, you are, burned sir. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. What were you about to say? Um. Oh, I was saying that, like, you know how in like RPGs, when you, you kill a wolf, somehow there's like gold in the wolf. Yeah. I want that to continue, but as games get like more detailed, I want them to animate you extracting coins from the dead wolf. You pull socks out of its colon. <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh good, I needed these. <laughs> you kill the wolf and then just like full Red Dead style where there's like way too long of an animation to do anything where it's not fun. Just you fist a wolf and pull out jewels. Yeah, dude. You crack the wolf's head like a wonder ball and there's boots in there. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> man, I want fucking boots in me. That would be sick. <laughs> yeah, as a prize, that as would, a prize. You know? like, if look, someone kills me, they get a nice pair of boots. If you vanquish me fair and square, there might be. You mm-hmm. know, who knows? You Who's know, to say? Because the boots on my feet would be worthless to them. You know, yeah, they're, no, they're they're size six. Oh, if, <laughs> if you could get to the six defense boots in your own guts, you would. But unfortunately, they're not for you. Uh, they're not for me. They're for know? a traveling rogue. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, Man. I can't wait till we have RPG World. <laughs> yeah, me too. When I'm just co- perpetually in VR. Yeah, that'll happen. Mm-hmm. What's going to happen is I'm going to be in VR full time. You will not be. Oh, no. But we'll continue this podcast. I'll think I'm atop a castle <laughs> <laughs> talking to you. And you'll look like a goblin of some sort. You know what's funny? I'll, why will I look like a goblin? Well, that's how you'll be programmed. Oh, to you in your VR. Oh, yeah. Okay, great, great, great. I thought that you were that's saying that's how I'll see you. I thought you were saying you're that gonna something be you. happened to me like on the outside. No, you're gonna be sitting there, just you. It's a completely bare room with like a green grid on the walls, right? Like a classic like '80s VR room. Yeah, yeah, yeah like. The... And I'm just I'm nude and I fucking stink. I just smell yeah. so bad. Oh, you're not bathing. Not bathing. Why would you, if you bathe, you get electrocuted. I mean, I bathe, but it's all pixels. I'm I'm in the yeah, shower. I, I'm in the stream. <laughs> I get called by the sirens and drowned. Yeah, you're, you're like you're rubbing what you think is soap on your body, and you're just scratching yourself with your long fingernails. <laughs> There's just blood and dirt mixing together. <laughs> yeah, because I have haptic feedback, so I'm like, ah, clean. Yes, yeah, I'm wiping the grime off of my body. <laughs> you're skinning yourself. Uh, do you think that they'll have haptic feedback to make your dick feel bigger? Uh, yeah, I think so. You're like, wow, technology has advanced so far. I'm hitting the back walls. Yeah. I've never done that in the meat world. No. (laughs) God, God, (laughs) Lord save us from the meat world. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid that some, like, they're like, you know, who who knows what could happen? Maybe you accidentally, there's a power surge and you are converted into pure energy and sucked into the helmet. Ooh, that would be nice. That could happen. It could. And then it thinks you're a program. I get struck by lightning while I'm jacking off to VR hentai and... I just, I become cum. <laughs> you become cum? Yeah, I just slither around. I'm like, I'm well, like, you had to be careful because if it's a cream pie, your your ass is about to get born all over again. You about to live an anime life. That would be fine. I think. Do you think it would be fine, Brendan? I think that if I got to start a new life over with all my experiences and knowledge, I would make a halfway decent go of it. But you're okay. But you okay. But if it's in VR, if it's in a hentai VR, you'll be carried to. Ter- I uh, okay. We're assuming a lot of rules. Mm-hmm. But let's say that you are born as an anime child to a hentai mother in a VR hentai porn. Indeed. It, what even once you're old enough, if the, if the nine months in the virtual womb doesn't drive you crazy, <laughs> as you feel your fingernails and eyes growing, once you're born, there's, you can't leave the room. They didn't program more <laughs> than the fuck room. <laughs> you fucking idiot. No, the whole world's programmed. It's just all sexual. I guess this is bad. futuristic VR. They'll probably mm-hmm. yeah, they'll they'll just you know you're right. They'll do like a uh, um what's, yeah, they're what's gonna the procedurally word for it? generate procedurally it where generated. I go into the next room and there's also people fucking all weird. Right. And then I go into the next room and you know, it's it's all the same. We know how these games work. It's yeah. <laughs> copy and paste. It's a roguelike <laughs> hentai game. Where- <laughs> <laughs> uh okay yeah then yeah I guess yeah that would be better than all this. Mhm. Yeah, I mean honestly though like we agree my life is bad. Oh, if there's one thing that we agree on my life. Oh, <laughs> well, we can look into the camera yeah, now. Oh, we can look into to the make camera. points. That's and, exciting. Uh, I think our listeners will agree too. He blew this one. Oh, I have blundered severely. <laughs> Just a long we call it the mm-hmm. long gaff. Yeah, so I feel like if you gave me like like a sports ab or uh, what's the almanac? A sports, sports almanac, almanac yeah. and 
and uh, like all my knowledge, all my experiences, a bunch of books and everything. You sent me back as to being a baby and had me live it again. I would come out with like. I would make like 40 grand a year. You know, I, would, I would do just like slightly better. <laughs> you know, that might be the smart move, honestly, though. Mm-hmm. That's because like, what do you really, you don't want to fucking blow your spot up and be, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to pull it back to the future mm-hmm. where you like literally become a dictator. You just yeah. want to like, you just want to, you want to make, you want to course correct enough of the small mistakes that you made so that you can mm-hmm. just get to base level. Yeah. Because that's all either of us want. What, let's let me think of the small mistakes. All right, number one, I would not learn to jack off by pressing my dick really hard into various surfaces. You and Isaac did me and, this, yeah. And from what he's told me, my dick came out better than his. Well, yes, God knows what that boy did to it. I think he just started chasing the dragon, where he was literally just like he was. He's like his more d- pressure. Yeah, he <laughs> he's pressing his dick into the mattress, and he has he has a bunch of he has like a tombstone on his back, like weighing him down. He like stole soccer cleats from from like out of a gym locker and was like, yeah. oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah, he has, he's just he has smashing them. Yeah, yeah. He he's just clattering his dick between two, two bricks, <laughs> like he's cleaning yeah, erasers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it sounds like the coconuts in Monty Python. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know, I would um I would press my dick into the bed. Um and then the floor also like the carpeted floor. Oh good. And uh cool. you know, once I tried the coffee you table, but I kind of I kind of fucked up my <laughs> like, I I uh, hurt my dick that yeah. way. Yeah. Were you finishing on all these places? Um I was finishing in my underwear. Okay, so yes. So, so I had a layer of underwear in between my dick it, and the surface. I mean Anybody who's ever come in their underwear knows that that is not an impenetrable layer. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> that is very true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, sorry for your parents. Mm-hmm. <laughs> do you think that when you do that, do, like it strains the cum? Do you think you have like a more <laughs> pure cum? How do you think cum works? I think that. Do you um, think that cum is like ninety percent like toxins? <laughs> well, mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. If, yeah. If, you, if you got a girl pregnant, she would just give birth to like an Arby's combo meal. It'd mm-hmm. be like a fucking roast beef sandwich. <laughs> Nick, I mean, I have to come through a Brita filter for it to even be white. So. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> Straight up fucking Boston cream, my dude. <laughs> That's not too good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you want to keep it that pure color. Yeah. You know, most people think cum should be white, but me, I think that that's... um. I don't know. I'm trying to think of some like, uh, like fat phobic, like, like type oh. type language for it. Absolutely, they're yeah, they're you know, they're discri- you. yeah, they're 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 cum shaming me. The color of my cum is in no way indicative of my health, and any any doctor will tell mm-hmm. you that. Yeah, any doctor will tell you that. It's just straight blood. Yeah. Well, why <laughs> do I'm you like, th- hey, blood is healthy in any hue. Why do you, why do you think that my cum should be? Wh- oh, does white mean? better to you okay <laughs> interesting my, interesting. my cum is just jet black yeah finding out a lot of how about how you see the world through mm. this basically <laughs> it's like uh brendan okay yeah your cum's black and that's fine but your skin is also gray so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i'm just <laughs> i'm just ivying diet coke this is all i need <laughs> <laughs> It is Diet Coke. Mm-hmm. That's true. Which is basically medicine. It is, in many ways, medicine. Yeah. And it heals me, and I'm good. Yeah. Di- I think many people would agree. Diet Coke is good for you. Mm-hmm. Diet Coke, the two things that I know are good for you, Diet Coke and marijuana, yeah. are basically Look, medicine. all I'll say is that the, uh, the, the insurance company slash also the hospital that um, serves me, that only sometimes lets me make appointments has not found anything wrong at this point. Right. Mm-hmm. No, I think that's awesome. Yeah. And it gives a lot of credence to people like Roxanne Gay. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's like, I'm fine. <laughs> I think I should go to the doctor. I think I will. I'm going to be one of those people who just, like, drops dead at 150 pounds. Well, you're going to just... be the kind of person who, like, you go in for a checkup, and they immediately rush you into, like... <laughs> yeah, they're just, like... <laughs> just, like, an experimental surgery. The kind of surgery where there's, like, somehow in t- 2019... There's a big crowd of spectators watching. <laughs> yeah, there was a long time. <laughs> yeah, it's in it's in the big like amphitheater, like the the mm-hmm. the dome, the glass, or it's not a dome. What do you call that fucking thing? Like the the medical the, pit, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the the pit, <laughs> like a gladiator. Yeah, you're yeah, down yeah. there, um, fighting. <laughs> you're fighting the plague. The doctor has the doctor has to finish your operation before like a lion gets him. He's like <laughs> fighting off a lion <laughs> as he's mending your bones with a rusty spoon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that <laughs> that's doc- what it'll be like. The doctor, he's like he's asking he's asking his assistant, the nurse, for a scalpel and then also a needle full of heroin. He's like, hey, if I can have some heroin, love. And, just like, <laughs> and it's for him. It's not even for you. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> it steadies his hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Those those old medical pits were the were the best because like nine times out of ten it was somebody who had like the flu and the doctor's like, eh. it's like the doctor's <laughs> just trying stuff out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, and let's see if he can get along without his arse. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So what did we learn here today? I don't know why it's Australia. I don't think they were doing this in Australia. It was like, all right. So in conclusion, you do need both your lungs. <laughs> <laughs> Go to have a, what, what mm-hmm. did we, you know, write that, it's like 1896. All right, write that down. Uh, need lungs. All right, medical <laughs> science. <laughs> I'm the richest well, we man tried. in the city. <laughs> Well, we tr- we tried switching his eyeballs, thought he might see backwards, <laughs> and now he's dead. <laughs> he's he's died, and um, we've learned quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm trying to still do British. Keeps drifting. It's hard. British is, dude, uh, voices in general. <laughs> I, I'll have... Oh, I love... <laughs> uh, I love... <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like, how did literally, what qualified you to be a doctor? Other than, like, you said so. Well, it's just you were a very good barber. And they were like, well, it's... <laughs> it, you, gr- you got a promotion, buddy. After a hundred perfect haircuts, they're like, come to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> you're, oh, you're awful good with sharp objects. <laughs> no, we're going to use the same scissors. <laughs> <laughs> I've always said surgery is just air cuts on the inside. <laughs> Yeah, you're just trimming people's colons. You open them up, you're like, oh, it's a lot in there. That's going to be like 30 feet of colon in a, in a six-foot man. That can't be right. <laughs> oh, well, that's far too much. Give that a trim, innit? Yeah. <laughs> Make sausages out of this. <laughs> oh, that looks looks right sharp there. <laughs> yeah, they're selling it to, like, lampshade companies afterwards. It's the biggest grift in the world. <laughs> you open it up, it's too much guts. It's like, oh, what is this, the Beatles? <laughs> <laughs> Give you a nice conservative crew cut like in the <laughs> like in World War Two. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, so suddenly this is happening in the nineteen sixties. Mm-hmm. <laughs> suddenly I think you've jumped ahead like a century. Look, now now I'm not a learned man. No, I certainly see. not. I don't know much about surgery. Sure. Medicine in general. Never said you did. History. No. Geography. It's like that song. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's just you. Barbary. Dude, it's just you, like, that's because that song is like a romance already. It's like, mm-hmm. but I know that I love you. But it's just you on a date pulling out like a phrenology. I just like, don't know much about <laughs> history. <laughs> but then phrenology, I do know a lot about. Yeah. I, I know the, a lot about, about phrenology. phrenology. <laughs> the big pincers. <laughs> But I do know I don't trust Jews. <laughs> yeah, I never get around to saying what I do know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eventually, just like the, the the band is vamping while I'm just like, fuck, where was I going? I know. <laughs> oh, I, I was supposed to tell a girl that I don't like trust her. Jews. <laughs> hmm. Well, I can't put that on a card. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm I'm sorry that I've spoiled your Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I hope that I never learn. I, it's so much more fun. Dude, the minute anybody, like, I say something that's wrong, and then somebody who, like, had, you know, finished high school or college and then, mm-hmm. like, knows history corrects me, I'm just like, why? This is less fun. Mm-hmm. I don't want to know. Yeah. It's so much fun, to, more fun to wildly speculate. Yeah. I want someday that we have, we have a producer, like a Jamie-type figure. Yeah. Who, um, w- w- we're like, hey, look that up. He goes, no, you no. told me not to. You told me never under any circumstances, no matter how badly you ask, to never look anything up. Yeah. Well, and we then should... we flip him one coin. Yeah. We say, good job. <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, we should hire, like, a real computer hacker where we're just, like, you know... We're having, yeah, like... he's constantly typing. He's, well, he's, he's, no, he's ever there constantly typing. We're just like, who was Sacagawea? Do you know who Sacagawea was? And you're like, no, I don't know who Sacagawea was. And we're like, Jamie, delete the Wikipedia article on Sacagawea. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, if there's so anything, that we can speculate. Yeah, if there's anything I want out of this podcast, it's for it to <laughs> somehow reduce the amount of knowledge on her. Yeah, by the time the podcast is done, the only articles that are left on Wikipedia are just like you know things about uh, Street Fighter Two <laughs> and, and puppetry of the penis. So there's yeah. now an article the about two puppetry topics of the penis. on which we are 100 percent knowledgeable. I, I know every character in Street Fighter Two because mm-hmm. they were all. Racist, <laughs> but made by uh, Japanese people. So were they? Yeah, you know. As yeah, as long as white people didn't do it, it's totally fine. I didn't make the rules because uh, j- look, if we're being honest, dude. The most racist people are hands up and down Japanese people. <laughs> Absolutely, they are. But In they what can do way? it. Have, uh, you, they, you know, you can just like it's a thing. Not even like on holidays. Not even like Black Pete. Blackface is like a thing in Japan. They think that it's cool to like. Have you seen that? The girls who like like just as fashion. Yeah, yeah, they tan their skin really, really dark. Just on the face? <clears throat> Whole body. I'm trying to remember what it is, but it is like it's supposed to be like black. They're 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 being black, basically. I, there's a well, fucking name for that's it. That's pretty woke. That's their. Also, have you watched? Aren't we, there Asian countries where they bleach their skin? Is that true? I believe so. I didn't know that. So, um, yeah, you know they're really um. Well, fighting the power there. We even talked about it with Daniel, Mr. Popo on DBZ. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're fucking racist, dude. <laughs> but it's because they it's because they're such a homogenized culture that it's like yeah, I mean nobody's there to wag the finger. You would be weird racially <sighs> if you had never met a black person. Yeah, well, there's like I think there's like eight black people in Japan. One of our listeners mm-hmm. is a black guy in Japan, actually. Yeah, Afro in Japan. Mm-hmm. God, I hope he's black. <laughs> it's weird <laughs> if he's not. It's weird <laughs> if he is just a Japanese guy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure, sh- I think so. I think he is, too. Mm. He corrected us when we were wrong about Yen, yeah. which, don't do that. No, 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 <laughs> no, you know what it was? We were right about Yen. All right, mm-hmm. then do that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Please tell us that we're right about things on which we are wildly incorrect. Well, no, if we're right, we're right. If we're wrong, shut your mouth. And, you know, actually, if we're wrong, maybe maybe you adjust the way that you feel. That makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Man, I can't wait to just remove the concept of truth from human life. We, look, we're living in post-truth America, baby. Mm-hmm. It's huge. It's the theme of the third season of Fargo. <laughs> <laughs> Trump has kind of made it where it's just like, all right, I guess it really doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. And it's fu- he's fun. <laughs> it's fun, dude. He photoshopped there- <laughs> <laughs> putting the metal on the dog. Just a different dog, <laughs> totally for did. no reason. A, a picture. Do you that- think he did that because he was like, "Well, I mean, if we if we release the real dog, they'll kill him." Yeah, yeah he didn't <laughs> want to dox the dog. He didn't want to name the dog either. Mm-hmm. He said, "I will not name the dog." And yeah, because ISIS will kill the dog. We're gonna dox that dog. Mm-hmm. Or maybe he thought he was like, "Well, we can't release the dog's name because then people will dig up racist tweets. <laughs> <laughs> the dog will get canceled." <laughs> Dude, it's a, literally a fucking German show. You could release the dog's name. I'd st- I. Every single German Shepherd I've met. You saying they all look the same now? I'm saying they all look the same. <laughs> you couldn't pick one out of a lineup. Mm-hmm. Release the dog's name. Man, that would be so sick if it was like my dog somehow. Like he's like, and this special dog uh, killed ISIS, and I'm like Hazel, just a little, <laughs> a little shish on. Him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Marion, did you know about this? <laughs> <laughs> I call my sister. She's like, yeah, you know, she um, she was gone. <laughs> yeah, she, you know, she did. A you t- know, some men came and took her. And, uh, you know, I didn't question as an American. Well, in America, what you didn't know is we, uh, the draft hasn't been instated since, like, Vietnam, but the dog draft never went away. Mm-hmm. The, the dog, dog draft has stayed instated in America. Mm-hmm. And they fucking, they rolled that big fucking globe full of, is that, is that actually how they would do? I don't know the way that they ra- that they drafted people, but <laughs> Wait, I think I imagined actually, it was like was a it state actually fair. A, a ping pong. <laughs> yeah, I think ball. I always, do. and I just now saying, I'm like, there's no way that's how they did it. Yeah, that can't be how they did it. Did they release like the, the number, like, or maybe, I mean, you, you had, had a like, draft card. You right? had a draft with like a number on it, right? Yeah. They might have. Uh, here's the thing. Maybe they did do it like the like the Powerball. Yeah, it could have been. But I truly don't know. I don't know. But I don't know if I saw that. Damn, in the does movie? that feel true? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna roll with that one. It was Nixon's America. 
It was. I'm sure that he was like, bring out the Powerball. I like that. <laughs> what if it was just take like a, a... Take a big one to every town. <laughs> what if it was like a Japanese game show? <laughs> just, like, <laughs> just lights, Nixon comes out in a wacky suit. <laughs> 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 yeah, that would be fucked up if Nixon personally. <laughs> it's time to spin Wheel of Death. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and who's going to die face down in the mud? <laughs> it's Brendan Craig. <laughs> All right, Brendan. What- yes. <laughs> Come on. You're, you've won the chance to go overseas and have yourself a yellow family. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think I would be the guy who like didn't come back? Yes, dude. You would. Have you ever seen uh, the movie Heaven and Earth? I haven't. Okay, it's you would like it. It's part of Oliver Stone's Vietnam trilogy. Very mm-hmm. good. And it's all but Tommy Lee Jones returns to Vietnam uh, after you know serving there, feeling very guilty about what he did. And there's just the, and he marries one of the girls there. And he just there's a part where he very solemnly utters, "I want an Oriental wife." <laughs> and I can see you <laughs> absolutely doing that. Perhaps. Perhaps it's true. I think that that's exactly what would happen. I think so. Yeah. Or no, I think I'd be like the guy in... Um, I'm, I'm at the beginning of Blood Meridian right now, and he talks about a guy where he's in the, the town in Mexico, and there's a guy who passed through during the war, fell in love, and now the war's over, and he came back, and he's just waiting around trying to run into the girl. Oh, <laughs> he fuck. Just has, but it's the fucking, it's the 1800s. I he, thought there were like 12 people in a town back then. There's there's no phone. You can't, you just gotta be like, man, I hope that girl's alive, because I do not speak Spanish. I can't even ask anyone. Oh, 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 right. That's, so it's not, no, not an English-speaking town. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He didn't get her name. How did he I should do he... that now. I should just, um... I mean, Mexico is uh, notoriously a dangerous place, but, you know, I got, I got fucking, I got some salt. Or yeah. Some, I got some sand, that's yeah. what I meant to say. some gumption. Yeah. He, he fell Just in love very... with her, he didn't know her name? I think he knew her name. It's, you know, Cormac McCarthy, he's not going into great detail. That is true. You know what's funny? I don't even remember this part of Blood Meridian. <laughs> I mean, it was extremely, it was like one sentence just alluding to oh, it. Okay, and you just uh, latched onto it. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, it's the part I listened to today. <laughs> oh, 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 right, oh <laughs> audiobooks, that's right, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Does he read those? I'm illiterate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you think I'm reading Blood Meridian, Nick? No. I. Do you know how long it took me to get this set up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, you're right. You have not I made been reading a lot, any books. It was mostly... um. It was, it was, I mean, the, the physical setup wasn't that bad, but getting all the camera settings right, I fucked up so many times. I had to do so many Googles. <laughs> oh, yeah. Camera looks good. It's looking pretty it good. It looks fucking weird. Not how I would expect it to look. What do you mean? It just looks, I forgot that, like, all technology now, it, like, it doesn't look like, it all looks vaguely sinister. That's the camera right there, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's not, yeah, like, the camera when you think does of camera, kind of look Is evil. that what you think of? No, I would think of. I, I mean, I don't like a camera that looks intelligent. It does. <laughs> it looks. It looks like it understands. Yeah, and that I I don't care for so much. No, that shit sucks on ice. <laughs> yeah, and the tripod. It really does. It looks like some sort of being. Yeah, you know, it looks like the, the uh, the portal, um, like tripod things. Oh, from War of the Worlds. No, in Portal, you know, uh, oh, the game. In, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. Little, the turrets. Little, little The turrets, yeah. And I hope it kills us one day. Well, maybe not directly, but I'm sure that there's some sort of poetic attribution. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I guess we are, you know, we are in it now. This is how you get canceled. Oh. Well, this is just, it makes it... <laughs> video? It yeah, ma- makes it shareable on Twitter. I mean, only if you get SNL, <laughs> which we won't. Which we will not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if they offer me SNL, I'm gonna be like, no, you're not. <laughs> you can't fool me with this one. <laughs> I saw how it went. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking. Be- I remember when SNL wasn't a fucking booby trap. Yeah, yeah. It is kind of funny though, because like I do have this instinct where I'm like, ah, gotta learn from other people's mistakes. And it's like, yeah, but I like a hundred separate things would have to fall into place for me to even like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like get. Any opportunity at all. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that was what... I liked what she... No, I am in this book. That's fun. That's amazing. Um, oh, yeah, put that up yeah, there. Yeah, let's, uh, let's uh, plug this real quick. Buy this bad boy. Buy this goddamn book. The Hard Times, The First 40 Years. 
It is at uh, Barnes and Noble and such. I will be standing next to the shelf. Let's see the, let's show telling the girls thing. that I'm in it. Yeah, and you said do you the for, where, what Barnes and Noble was this one at? Did you go to the Grove? Um, no, I got that off Amazon, but I went to the I went to the Burbank one, and it was not on the shelf. And I uh, I asked one of the employees. I was like, "Hey, do you have the hard times the first forty years?" And uh, the guy was like, "Maybe in the back." And then he went to the back. I'm sure didn't look for it. Just came back. It's like, eh. Was like, ah, you know, it wasn't in the back. And then he just wandered off. And this other lady came up to me and she's like, I'll help you look. Who wrote it? And I didn't know how to answer that. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, uh, a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, okay, like I'm clearly, like, why is he answering it weird? Yeah. And then she's like, maybe it's sold out. I don't know. I'm like, oh, well, that would be good news for me because I helped write it. And she just like, Flicked her eyes at me and then immediately just went back to stocking shelves. I'm like, yeah. I'm a piece of shit. Yeah, what did I even yeah. expect? You just, <laughs> I'm a fucking loser. You fully uncloaked. <laughs> what a Way fucking autistic move. <laughs> oh my God, dude. <laughs> you idiot. What a fucking yeah, hey, loser. It's a good thing that you're getting these audiobooks because you can never buy a regular book again. No, no. Not from that place. No, no. Because that, that nice old lady would. Uh, she probably thinks I was trying to fuck her. She was like 70. <laughs> yeah. Oof. Which honestly, you know. Maybe well, I would. I think Daniel found one of these. Daniel went to one of the uh, Barnes and Borders. Yeah, they're, and I mean, they're at, it, they're at Barnes and Noble. That one just had, they said that it was in their inventory. It just wasn't there back there for some reason. That was probably, the you and the seven-year-old lady, that might be, unfortunately, be a dry run for how it goes if you try to do that with a girl. Could be, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this one, I list, uh, I list the hard times as my job on, on Tinder, which, you know. It, Let me tell you something. I do too, and I have <laughs> way, way less of a right to than even you. <laughs> I do, and uh, for the most part, nobody knows what it is. Really? Yeah. I would think that out here, actually, oh. no. You know what's funny? I matched with a girl uh, who liked me because of that, and she's like, "Oh my god!" She's like, "You're on the Hard Times Podcast Network. That's so cool. I know Matt and his girlfriend." And I was like, "Well, we can never go on a date." Oh no, you can't <laughs> be. I can't. You I can't be attempting to have sex with people who know our very. Very kind boss. You can't be, you cannot, you, yo, he's, oh, Matt's the greatest. But look, you can't but be I just can't, I can't, fucking mutuals, no, dude. No, no, you can't have anyone who is in any way professionally connected to you know what your dick is like. Yeah. No, not that at all. That is a firm rule. I. It's getting so hard, especially with like the internet. Dude, I fucking saw this girl who I hooked up with when I first got out here who's not in comedy at all, interacting with a comic that I know on Twitter the other day, and I was like, no, no. I was like, <laughs> this will come back to haunt me. I you're just like, I, you're like Billy Bob Thornton in Fargo. Just one thing goes wrong, you just shoot your wife. In the head. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you want to play it? <laughs> <laughs> this is what you want. <laughs> yeah, dude, it fucking sucks. Like, And I know I usually get on you for this, but as the walls close in more and more, I'm like... I think the ideal wife would be a woman who just falls from the sky. Yeah. <laughs> we love the walls, don't we, folks? <laughs> we hate the walls. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the walls closing in. Dude. Yeah, I would really love like a um a wife who just spawns. Yeah. Just spawns from another server. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what I need. She she she's been waiting in the lobby for you. Mm-hmm. And then she comes with her loadout. Yeah. She has good stats. Maybe she'll be a specialist. Or Ooh. a medic. A medic would be great. A medic would be good, yeah. A nice medic bay mm-hmm. with the with the bandages <laughs> that heal you. No, I would be the medic. I would be like whatever the shitty the shitty class is. Hey, in medics like have their battlefield place. or something. Yeah. And she would just be a sniper. Just, just brrr, taking guys just off. Instantly. <laughs> You're just like I've yeah. always been attracted to those like Israeli army like w- women snipers. Of course of course you have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, everybody is. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy because like in the in the IDF, like you everybody has to serve. So that means like sorry, hot ladies. Just fucking get in there. Yeah. All the bays are fierce. Dude, it's gotta it's gotta be it's gotta hit so hard when like mm. a dime when a dime piece just gets her head exploded by like a fucking <laughs> Yeah, that's gotta be rough. <laughs> yeah, dude. She just gets a hollow point right to the head and you're just like, oh Jesus. <laughs> you're like, oh, what a rough day. Her, just her big beautiful lips fall at your feet. You're like, ah, oh, god damn. <laughs> Anoush. <laughs> damn. Man, over in Israel, they gotta have like a Mr. and Mrs. Smith type scenario every day somewhere in the country. Oh, very true. Mm-hmm. I didn't even think about can that. You believe, can you just imagine getting into a fucking Mexican standoff with your wife? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I don't even remember what that movie's about. Oh, uh, they're both uh, secret agents, and they're married to each other, and they find, I think they find out that they're supposed to kill each other. Mm-hmm. But they're still fuck. I don't know. It doesn't really hold up under scrutiny, I don't think. <laughs> and it's a remake of a movie about... Because the original Mr. and Mrs. Smith, they were just married to each other, and they weren't assassins at all. It was like a movie in like the 40s. <laughs> <laughs> so it just shows you how fucking retarded Hollywood was in like the mm-hmm. mid-aughts. <laughs> Yeah, that is looking back on like the way they they adapted things then is very weird. Like I was thinking about the movie Wanted, uh, yeah, which like if they made it faithfully now would probably like crush. I mean, that's basically what they're doing with like the boys. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there they were like, oh, we can't make it about superheroes. People don't like superhero movies. Yeah, dude, I remember the part in Wanted where uh, is it when he quit when he hits that guy with his keyboard and the keys spell out fuck you, and they fly at the camera. Yeah. Dude, when I was in ninth grade, I was like, fuck, awesome! I was like, <laughs> yeah. I've never even had a job at this point. Like, I've never <laughs> worked in an office. I feel like that's like a weird thing as a kid, you kind of identify with offices for some reason. Like, I remember I would read Dilbert. What was I getting? I would read Dilbert, too, because mm-hmm. for some, my, my fourth grade, I guess being in school, but my fourth grade, um, I've got a story about this. My fourth grade geography teacher had like every Dilbert book and I would read Dilbert and I would read Foxtrot Foxtrot a comic that used to literally make me laugh out loud like in bed <laughs> like I would pretend to be sick so that I could stay home and, and read, read Foxtrot, Foxtrot? I revisited which it which one's Foxtrot the one where the family they all have like weird rectangular heads kind of mm-hmm. uh, it's it's the kid with the shaggy blonde hair the older brother with the cap Paige I remember the girl's name is Paige is the daughter mm-hmm. bald dad blonde mom yeah are the, are the comics just for kids? Uh, no. Be, uh, so, you know what's funny? I realized the reason why I thought it was funny is because I was too stupid to understand it. So I think I was just like... <laughs> <laughs> to you, it was like a, a surreal, random thing? You I just think like... I just thought I was excited that, that I was being an adult <laughs> reading the comics. Yeah, yeah. That's how I felt. I was like, Dilbert. I was like, huh, yes. And then now that I'm in an office... Also, you know, sometimes Dilbert would say, damn... And I was like, would, "Ooh, yeah!" It's like the adult swim of we love comics. Helen Dam, dude. The hell they would get hell. There and was damn. occasionally Helen Dam and Calvin and Hobbes, and that was a rush. There was hell sometimes in Calvin and Hobbes, and that's why I was like, "Oh boy, Jesus!" Mm-hmm. There's big words. Yeah, dude. You hide it under the bed from your mom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, no, wait. The fucking uh... ah, fuck. I lost it. Oh well. I was that, but I was that way with a lot of things. I remember like watching sitcoms when I was young and like not and just like eagerly waiting for the day when I would understand them. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> One day out of a job. And little did you know you never would. Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As a kid you're you're looking at a comic strip about selling your blood to to <laughs> just for scraps. And you're and just like, oh okay. You're like ah oh, someday. Yeah. Someday I'll get it. <laughs> Someday I'll have my own life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we all we all remember the classic arc where John Arbuckle gets locked up in a hospital. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, I remember what... Oh, fuck. I don't remember mm-hmm. what the name of it was. I used to read these political comics by Tom... What the fuck was it called? They were by this guy Tom Tomorrow. And they were not for me at all. Mm-hmm. Like, I remember there was what... They would just make me laugh so hard. It was like a parody of, like, Star Trek. This must have been in the 90s. Because it was uh, it was all the characters of the comic in the Star Trek positions, and they're like, uh, "Sir, uh, <laughs> something like, uh, sir, uh, we've we've got Dan Quayle on the radar." And the last panel is the guy dressed up as Captain Kirk going, "Shields up!" And I would just laugh so <laughs> hard, <laughs> and I would just walk around that. I would just like to my grandparents, I, to my father, I go, "Shields up!" <laughs> <laughs> that just made me laugh so hard. Man, if there's one thing that makes children laugh uproariously, it's Dan Quayle. Dan Quayle. Shields up. <laughs> no, no, not Dan Quayle. Bob Dole. Bob Dole? Bob Dole. Either way. Who I don't, the fuck was Dan I, Quayle? I'm an adult. I don't know who either of those right, yeah, yeah. were. But yeah, yeah. Bob yeah. Dole's coming. That was a big like web comic thing. I remember... Do you remember like... You would read web comics, not because they were good, but because they were online, and that was exciting. They updated them every day. Yeah, they updated them every day, but they would they would uh they would put their characters Muppet style into like other shit. That oh was a yeah, big trend. yeah, yeah. You'd be like, oh man, it's Star Trek, but with these fucking anime people. Right. <laughs> yeah. I love this. <laughs> yeah, this, this is, is the thing that I fucking love. <laughs> I w- I woke up excited about this. <laughs> there was a webcomic that became a... It was Pearls Before Swine that became a real comic. 
Yeah, yeah. Remember that? I remember. Zeba and Being fucking... gifted uh, collections of that uh, for Christmas. Yeah. And reading it and feeling nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. I will. The Far Side actually holds up. It does? Have you reread really The Far Side? I haven't, but that's well, good news. And the thing right? about The Far Side is like one out of uh, every... Actually, I would say that like one in three hits, and then the two are just like... The Far Side is so esoteric at times that you're just like, who the fuck... How the fuck did he get this printed? <laughs> I think that they were so they were so intimidatingly like highbrow that people were just like, yeah, I get it. Yeah, it looks like The New Yorker, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's, the New Yorker <coughs> style of cartoons is weird. It's like, well, it's got to be shitty. It's got to look shitty. Rule number one. Also, yeah. it is not funny. It is not funny. <laughs> I would read the new when I was little. I would get. I would steal my parent, my uh, grandparents' New Yorker just for the cartoons. I read the New Yorker in high school. Why? Oh, Why was I doing that, Brendan? I was reading the New Yorker in middle school, <laughs> <laughs> like a little man about town, <laughs> yeah. sitting there reading it and like. Ah, they have a new installation in the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's at MoMA this month? I could now. I've never been. Yeah, now to this now day, we've never been. <laughs> I remember reading the. God, let me read some short fiction. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I remember reading some fucking stories in the New Yorker where I would like where I think I was expecting something fun to happen and it's just like a guy remembering the time that his dad beat his mom on Halloween. <laughs> yeah. Like like I like I no I, that was actually That's that was, always what it is. Remember a fucking cat person from like a year ago? No. It was more Oh wait, I it was that, do kind of was that viral this. story about like the girl like um like fucking the guy and then everyone's like this is so deep. This is what women go-. it's like I don't know. This kind of seems dumb and like, uh, <laughs> Get, what like was not the, poignant. <laughs> what was the gist of it? He was a cat person. No, the the gist of it is like, uh, it was basically, it was like if you took like alt, like girl alt comedy. Not all of it. I'm, I don't mean to be like rude. Ah, generalize. But, uh, Who cares? Yeah, ge- like like how there's a lot of girl alt comedy that's about like how the guy that they fucked was like a loser and that's yeah. supposed to be funny but then as an audience member you're like yeah but he still hit the <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is kinda like this is, you're kind of spinning this one sounds like he sounds it sounds like the hero's journey it sounds yeah. like he surmounted or, you know. yeah what an underdog <laughs> <laughs> yeah literally it's fucking rocky <laughs> but uh, so it's it basically it's the story about like the girl she like meets this guy and he's kind of weird but she like feel like she like says yes to the date because she like feels weird about it and then she goes on the date and then like they go back to his house and his house is all shitty or whatever and she like basically like fucks him just be like ah you know I guess I'll fuck him like I don't know like it, well they don't do mm-hmm. I mean I guess there's I understand and then after, social pressures yeah, yeah and then afterwards like he's texting because like they fucked so he, he's like maybe this girl likes me he's texting her and she's like showing her friends like can you believe he's still texting oh my god and it's like can you believe this poignant story about to, it's like can we all just anyone say anything at any point yeah like if, a, if I was gonna fuck a girl because she's at my house and she feels like it'd be rude not to and she was like, hey, I don't want to fuck. I'd be like, oh, thank God. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> thank God. Please don't make me fuck. <laughs> I'd be like, yes, of course you don't. Mm-hmm. You're in, you're like, <laughs> yeah, I really felt like. <laughs> I can't believe you came inside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, I got to be honest. I, d- I did not clean because. You fucked even- up. Yeah. You fucked up your room for the day. It like- did not even occur to me you would enter my home. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See, this is what. <clears throat> this is going back to what we were talking about last week with the. with. I have only fucked women in um, less than ideal circumstances in LA, and like, mm-hmm. and like, fuck them again afterwards in, in oftentimes like uh, deteriorating circumstances each time. <laughs> and so I am just like, come over, you've just you've just punched a hole in the wall. I, so like, I'm like, well, I do. I'm like, God, I hope that they liked me. I hope that I didn't somehow like. Well, it's so hard to tell because with Tinder, the thing is, a lot of the time, you'll realize later that that girl left her house intending to fuck whoever showed up to that date. Yes. Just uh, whoever. Sometimes. I mean, like, they saw your picture, they know vaguely who they are, but basically, they're sitting there and they're like, just don't give me a reason not to fuck you. That's <laughs> all you gotta do. I guess that's true. I, and then, I, I, you know, I, I don't know if that's true, but but continue with the theory. Okay, so here's my theory. is a lot Like, most of the time, when I have sex, it's with someone who's not particularly choosy. Sure. Because I'm no prize. No. And, um, <laughs> you know, 
I, I used to have a, a bad bit about this real early in the stand up where I was like I was like, listen, if you suck one dick in two thousand nineteen, sure. it will not be my dick. But if you suck a hundred dicks in twenty nineteen, absolutely my yeah. dick's gonna be in there. <laughs> Your dick's in there. Like just the odds, <laughs> you know. So for the most part, I fuck people who fuck a lot of people. Cause uh right. you know, it, it's like um like I don't go to the movies that much. So it's like, ah, oh, I really want to go see the Joker. Let me make let go see it. Or right. uh at Astro. You know, I don't see that many movies. But I'm getting movie pass pussy. You yes. know, I'm getting the fucking Just because <laughs> No, it's true. Just because you eat at, you know, uh La Fontaine Blue or whatever doesn't mean that you're not also down for Wendy's. Mm-hmm. They're both good. Yeah, yeah. Different kinds of good and for mm-hmm. different moods. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting the like uh like when I use canopy and it's like your credits are running out and they're like, fuck, I gotta watch these movies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like when women fuck me, there's an element of time sensitivity. They're, I feel like they're, where they're like, like there's a clock running. They're doing it to be well rounded. They're like, Well, I don't wanna just have good hot <laughs> like, I don't want, <laughs> just wanna have good penis. I should see how the common how common people live. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I should be salt of the earth in who I'm fucking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's like um I don't know how much this is going to relate, but, uh, this, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I watch Grateful Dead documentaries all the time. Uh-huh. And there was this uh, part of it where uh, they were asking Jerry because, like, Jerry would just let Hell's Angels backstage all the time. Yeah. And they would, like, cause all kinds of problems, be ODing, be harassing women and stuff. People were like, why do you allow this? Please stop. And he's just like, I don't believe that good means much without evil. <laughs> and they're like, okay, but I mean, this is a big problem. Yeah, like, yeah. And, that, and, Angels. and that's what a girl thinks before she lets you enter her. Yeah, she's like, <laughs> I don't think good dick means much without bad. Without we need vile the, dick. We need both sides of the moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, you know, people, um, people who fuck me, you know, they, 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 fu- they. What was I getting at? I don't know, but I know I mean, I do generally. Yeah. You know, so they, so then, but I fuck so little that I'm like, this girl likes me. Because who would just, who would have sex with me? That's insane. Somebody who's trying to be well-rounded. Mm-hmm. Somebody who just wants fast food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, the, or somebody who wants any food now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and um, one day I'll find love. Oh, okay. I, ho- I hope that. I mean, I don't really see the I, a, the A to B I with cert- that. I hate I hate sex so much. I'm glad nobody's made me do it for a, quite a while. Yeah, well, that's gonna change. <laughs> you think so? I can't wait to make you have sex. <laughs> Gunpoint, you're forcing Gunpoint. me to fuck. Yeah, come on, Brendan. <laughs> I got you this girl. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. She's like, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> she's like a tan year and I'm like no yeah. <laughs> I don't wanna <laughs> yeah I don't know why I made myself a uh, sex slaver <laughs> well she's willing obviously oh great yeah yeah, yeah. she's yeah, like yeah. a sicko mm-hmm. yeah okay <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> <Don't>... <laughs> um <laughs> what the fuck was I gonna say oh I I have been having this paranoid thought recently which like it doesn't make sense and maybe I'm just Telling, but I'm starting to get freaked out. I'm just like, has anybody that I've and like, I don't think I'm a complete mess. I certainly I know how to like, I I I know my well enough how to like navigate with women. But I just like keep getting this like paranoid thought that just like it extends beyond women. We're just like, oh yeah, I think everybody like everybody who's ever fucked me, it's they've just been like it's been like a pity fuck. Like they've just been putting up with me. I'm like a I'm like a what's the word I want to use? I don't know. It's 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 as I'm saying it out loud. I'm like, this is founded in nothing. It's pure insecurity. Well, I think it's the same thing as me, where it's just like those people are, you know, just down for whatever. And well, uh, no, you're of it. You know, you happen to cross paths, so, and then they move on and don't think about it too much. Sure. I mean, sort of. I don't think it's exactly the same as you because these aren't like one night stands. These, I, I mean, I, which I, makes I, me, which actually, as I'm saying this, this makes me realize. Yeah, I made uh, deliberate, whether it was subconscious or not, choices to push these people away. <laughs> and only after they were gone were I like, no! <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it fun to have revelations like the like this on the cast? I, yeah, no, of course it is. <laughs> but <laughs> now I'm just like, hmm, got to stop doing that. You're just like, ah, oh, we're doing bits, and am I a hollow man? Am I completely empty inside? Well, it's just like every time, uh, and it's always nice when like, 
like this is sociopathic, but when you like look at the range of women that you fucked and you're like, all right, pretty hot, pretty hot, pretty hot, dipped a little bit there, back to pretty hot, pretty hot, pretty hot. But then like you're like, uh oh, am I? Is the graph slowly on a decline? It is, but it's but then it's not, and then you pop back up. But then you just get paranoid where you're like, oh boy, I I always have this fear that the last person that I fucked things up with was like, uh. The that last, was wife. the la- well, no, the last person who would have been compatible enough to put up with all of my uh, quirks, mm-hmm. you know, where you're just like that. There can't be that many people in the world who are willing to put up with my very, all my assorted baggage. Mm-hmm. I almost feel like uh, they're not making. I'm them like fast an, enough. I'm like an MP3 player, sure. Where it's like, you know, when I came out, you know, plug me into any computer, <laughs> works fine. Yeah, but then as time goes on, it's like. Do we even make this cable anymore? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah. fuck. We're running out of. Well, it appears I can only <laughs> her pussy, her pussy. only that computer. Yeah, can I? Yeah. Her pussy's a lightning port, and you have the thing with like the prongs. You're yeah, just yeah. Like, ah, fuck. It's like fuck. It's gonna work. Well, that computer doesn't. Need... <sighs> all right, we gotta reboot that. <laughs> we gotta keep that running. Get the extra parts. It's all we have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just been. I've been like. It's and. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm getting sniffly on the cast. That's I okay. I, don't I also know. am. I don't know why. It's getting. It's like 60 degrees out there. It could be. Have you not been outside? Yeah, I've been outside. Oh yeah, it's 60 degrees out there. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I don't know where I'm going with this. It's just a paranoid thought where I was like, well, I might be burning through all my options here. Perhaps we are. <laughs> Probably make me more focused. <laughs> well, I think truly we're have um, nothing left. Are we about at an hour? We're about an, at an hour. Um. All right. Yeah, you know, uh, let us know what you think about the video. Yeah. Uh, I like this. Hopefully this worked out. Uh, If the audio is a little bit spotty, you know, we'll work on that. I think it's fine. Is the audio spotty? I don't think so, but it has been read a little bit on there, so I'm just going to... It's probably fine, though. I did a lot of tests. What's that mean? It's it's peaking? Peaking a little bit, but I think I'm pretty sure it's fine. You know what? Deal with it. You know what? Why don't you turn your headphones down? (laughs) Why don't you stand farther away from the speaker? You dumbass. <laughs> you fucking loser. You put headphones in your ears? That's not good for them. No, no. Not at all. Yeah. You got to keep them around your neck and have a full conversation on the subway. You should only be listening to this podcast full blast on the mm-hmm. bus. Yeah. Fucking SEPTA style, baby. And if you drive... On the subway. If you have a car, you do not listen to this podcast until you take the bus somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I don't care where you're going. Mm-hmm. Take a bus to the next town. Get out. Walk around. Think about what your life would be like if you lived there. If you want to binge this podcast, you better get a Greyhound to Nashville. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Greyhound to Nashville. You know, maybe one headphone in your ear. Maybe there's a man sleeping next to you. You <laughs> reach over and you put the other headphone in there. <laughs> Just watch him have nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> just watch him have a heart attack. Yeah, he yeah. <laughs> starts just sweating off. profusely. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, yeah. um, so you buy the it. buy the hard times book. Yes, show that again. Here, I'll put yeah. it like this so they can see the full. Look at that beautiful, beautiful book. Isn't that great? Oh, you can see my bandage. Look at all these, uh, all these these nice pages in there. Ooh boy, ooh boy, look at those. Oh, it's full color. Yeah, full color. That's an expensive that. fucking print, that, dude. That one, that one, that's one of mine. Uh, dog wearing misfits bandana. Can't even name three of their songs. You know, he's a dog. It's cute stuff like it's that. It's funny to you know to imagine a character of a man who expects the dog to speak and have opinions. Do you have any? Uh, what a what a what a farce. <laughs> do you have any of the ones that are more you like? Uh, any like the incel gun ones? Um, I don't think I have any incel gun ones. Let's see, I have that one. I have um. Ooh, I have, I have the one about um. Let me find it. The one about open mics. Oh God. <laughs> Let's find it real quick. Most of mine are towards the end. But I also have. Ah, the, they knew where to hide them. There we go. Tattooed barber excited to give everyone that one haircut today. <laughs> um, oh, uh, people drinking at bar, unaware they're about to support the local scene. Hey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know those. Those are. Um, and there's uh, even more. So uh, yeah, it's yeah. Fu- it's full of legitimately fucking. Fu- it's like yeah. very well curated. Most of it's most of it's stuff that's never been on the site. 
Great photos, great art. Very, uh... It's, it's literally... At this point, it's fucking better than The Onion. It's really, really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fucking go on The Onion. Go- Is it funny? No. no. Oh, The Onion hasn't been funny in a minute. It's terrible. No way to stop this says Only Nation where this is regularly happens. Mm-hmm. All right, whatever. <laughs> Leave me alone. Yeah. Look, guns are good, The Onion. I figured out how to make a bump stock by myself. <laughs> <laughs> I asked, I, I kind of know a dude who um, who works at The Onion, yeah. and I, I DM'd him. I've, I, I've like never... Like since he left Philly, I like never communicated with him. So this was a weird thing to like ask him randomly. <laughs> but I was like, "Hey, does that guy get paid again every time they run that?" Oh fuck! Because it'd be so funny for that guy. Like if he makes five hundred bucks every time they rerun that article, he wakes up and he sees a shooting and he's like, "Yes, <laughs> damn, <laughs> <laughs> paying rent this month." <laughs> does knock knock open up? It's me, the crazy shady faded fucker. So rock the jeans. I'll see you later. Make a baby, lead her on. Only time I give a fuck is for my own release.